Welcome back to more Walking Dead World Beyond Reactions. We're on Season 1, Episode 4 today. This episode is titled The Wrong End of a Telescope. Now, the end of the last episode was the big talking point, wasn't it? We found out that wherever the CRM are, they have 200,000 people. That was such a big reveal. That is mental. Rick had to have been there. I don't know where that is. Some people are saying New York. I am not entirely sure. I don't think we'll actually know until probably the end of the show or the end of this season now the frustrating thing about this show is that we want to find out more about the crm don't we and they're not going to give it all to us they're just not it's going to be one of those things where we get i think we're going to get it at the end of episodes maybe or it'll be here and there little tiny clips i don't think we're actually going to get an episode on the crm now in the last episode we found out quite a bit about silas he um seems to have anger issues i predicted that Whoever he was beating was his stepdad. Could be wrong. There seems to be something there with his grandparents and he doesn't miss his mum. They're the reasons why I thought maybe that's a stepdad. Now, of course, that could have been someone who was just bullying him or, or whatever. I'm not sure. Um, we didn't really find out who it was. It just kind of told us, yeah, he has anger issues and he's scared of what he can do himself, which is why he wasn't killing walkers. Hope and Iris got their first walker kills in the last episode too, which was pretty cool. They learned from Felix and they got the job done. Um... Hope finally told Iris what happened the night their mum died. So yeah, you've got that. But Elton still doesn't know that his mum was killed by Hope. And they don't know that Elton's mum killed their mum. That's going to be a bit of a uh, bit of a problem coming up, isn't it? But like I've been saying, I just don't see Elton going crazy about it. So I'm interested to see how he takes that. They keep showing Hope and Elton talk uh, about Elton's mum especially. Um... Yeah, he talks about it quite a lot. So, you know, I'm not sure how he's going to react to that. It's going to be an interesting thing. In this episode, I just hope we have more backstory of these characters. And, yeah, more Felix, more Huck. I want to know about Huck. There's a character I do want to know about. She has a scar, and they mentioned that. And, um, yeah, I've been thinking that ever since we've met her. I've been like, where did she get that scar? Something bad must have happened. Um, yeah, I'm interested. Because I, I like Hope, uh, Huck and Felix. I like those characters. I like when they're on screen together. I think they're really cool. So, yeah, just give us more of that and, and the episode will be all right. Now, before we get into the video, I'll have my full entire reaction over on my Patreon. We are reacting to Lost. Bloody love that show. It's absolutely amazing. Also, reacting to Vikings, Amber Vene, Better Call Saul, and Cobra Kai. So, if you're interested in any of that, links in the description. So, yeah, no more thoughts going into this. This is Season 1, Episode 4 of Walking Dead World Beyond, titled The Wrong End of a Telescope. Let's get into it. Joint protection agreements. Well, they took our dad, so... Bottom line is, we don't know anything. And they have no idea that they've uh, killed 9,000 people. Damn. They're at school. How okay. things were 10 years ago. We can cover more ground if we split up. We can handle ourselves. Someone taught us distance is the difference between life and death. Yeah, but don't split up. That's what I sound like. Splitting up in the past on the Walking Dead shows has never really gone well, has it? So, yeah, I don't think this is the best idea. People actually wore these. They were trying to look like dicks. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. What the fuck? Did you? Oh my god, stop. I'm so embarrassed for you right now. Myself? Check it out. The options are endless. Are you trying to put on every bit of clothing you find? So you forgot. Finally seeing the dead in the flashback. Well, so those stink bombs. Ammonium sulfide? Okay, so she can make stink bombs. Where'd you learn to do that? <clears throat> Not high school. <laughs> Felix. Using his lock picking skills. I don't want them to worry. I mean, you barely knew them before. Now know everything from their morning breath to their bathroom habits. <laughs> Not <laughs> everything, mate. Such as a lot of science in this episode, then. I was shit at science, so I might learn a thing or two in this episode. Well, that wasn't here before. Is it from an empty? It must have been injured and dragged itself away. What the fuck? Hey, Silas. 
Iris, you copy? Of course they're not going to copy. You find blood on the floor and then they're not going to copy. They're not going to reply to you. I swear to God, if they're just messing around, they've left their walkie on the side. And this ends up being something that's not even dangerous. Oh, never mind. What the fuck? Don't tell me there's going to be some, like, bear in this school. <laughs> Don't. Don't go there. Oh, yeah, she does her art and stuff, doesn't she? Not the most useful, huh? What are you going to do? Brush a walker to death? I don't know what that's going to do for, for anything, but okay. Let me try. Yeah, let him try. This guy carried all the bags in the last episode. He's strong. Hey, Felix, you copy? What walkies are these? They're not working. Well, Silas is a lot more active, which I'm liking. He's doing more for the group now. He's not just staying quiet. It's always complicated shit with dads, you know? Yeah, everyone's got a problem with a dad at the minute. Well, I hope they do find their dad, like, I hope no one dies before that happens. I just have a feeling one of them will die, or their dad may be dead, I don't know. But something's gonna happen, isn't it? How the hell is a walker fit in there? Ooh, young Elton. But you're not ready for this. None of you are. Hell, I don't even know if I am. They're not ready for it, but everyone's split up. What the fuck is in here? Oh my god. Didn't empty do this? No. no. Did not. Something that dragged the walker away. What is in the school with them? <laughs> Come on. Please. So these two are just having fun. Everyone else is like going through something right now. These two are just chilling. You're meant to be looking for stuff. <laughs> I realize, uh, this is a maze. Oh, fuck. That's what's in the school with them. Great. So you do know how to dance? Okay, come on. Show me. Oh my god, you're gonna start dancing. Your friends are in trouble and you're dancing. Right, this is a bit strange. What the fuck? Oh, well, used to dance. Let's figure out how they're going to get out of this. Oh, so no worries. Just slowly walk by it and it's, it's done. Okay. I thought it was going to be something much more of a threat. Maybe he was trying to protect me like that wolf. Protect you from what? I don't know. Something. Right, so that's why the walk was there, to relate to the story here. Shit. All that food. They actually found shit. We gotta get past this empty. Right, so that's put a time limit on this. Come on. Watch your eyes. Watch your eyes too. Now it's good that they conveniently found a flare there. I mean I think it was a stupid idea to split up anyway. Especially since these guys don't know what they're doing with walkers. But you know I get why it's happened for the, the story they want to tell. Just hit them in the head. You've done it once. Look, there's no point carrying this weapon around if you're not going to swing it. I get why you don't want to at times but you have to. That is a lot of food. How the hell is there still that much there? All right, they can hear Silas and Iris. All right, that door's chained up. Fuck's sake. Right. Here we go. You're going to use that wrench. Oh. It's over. There you go. Oh my god. All those walkers in. What is up with walkers in lockers in this episode? Still can't believe they let him in here. Dude should be in jail for what he did. Shit. Whoa! <laughs> Damn! I wanted him to attack the walkers. Here we go. Hell yeah, throw those hands. 
shit, he's gone beast mode. <laughs> oh no, 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 come on, don't hit Elton. Shit. Hey, listen to Felix. Damn. Wow. He just beat that walker. Shit. You wouldn't want to get on his bad side, would you? He blacks out and just starts going nuts. Hey. You think I killed my dad? Yes, I was right. Do you? So, a lot of thing about fathers in this show then, it seems. Clark don't like her father. Silas doesn't like his father. Yeah, oh god, there's the, there's the girl we kept seeing in the pictures. Want to get a group photo? Oh my god. Everybody in. Pictures of oh my god. <laughs> Since now. Well, here we are. The first ever World Beyond photo op taken by Elton. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, I've been told to wait around after the credits. CRM. Test subject A402. Detectable responses. Oh to no. Stimuli. They're testing. Shit. So look, they're all A's. Oh my god. This is so interesting. Bring out the next TS, please. Damn, that is one packed sandwich. Oh no. They're dead. What the fuck? Why can't we have more of that on this show? I want to see more of that. I mean, I don't mind seeing everything else, obviously. You have to, but... Oh my god. Right, so that episode was a strange one. But that whole ending bit there, that after credit scene... It's so interesting. So, test subjects A, they're all being experimented on. And the Bs, I guess, are the healthy, strong ones. The healthy, strong ones. Like, that's what, that's what Jadis said Rick was. I got a B. I really want to know more about that. I want to see more of the CRM. I mean, they're keeping that at the end of episodes on purpose. Because, like, even if you don't like this show, I feel like, yeah, people, they're still going to want to watch that. Because it relates to Rick, it relates to the to the main Walking Dead show. But they're keeping you watching with those scenes. Put more in there. Come on, give us an episode dedicated to the CRM. Yeah, that's not going to happen. But I like the fact we know about Silas now. It was his father, like I mentioned. I thought stepdad or father. You know, I had a feeling it was that because they're going on about fathers a lot in this show. That seems to be a thing. We found out Huck has a problem with her father. So many problems with fathers in this show, isn't there? It's like everyone hates their dad. It's like, damn, so many fathers doing things wrong. We have to wait till the next episode to see the stuff with Elton. We don't know anything about his dad, do we? So that's probably another thing going to come up. Was his father also an asshole? We will see. Overall, that ending part there just has me really interested. We saw all of the people that were classed as A. And uh, yeah, test subjects. It's just so interesting because they're doing experiments. It's 10 years in. I'll have to go back and watch that scene as well. The CRM stuff is really well done. I will say that. It's really well done. I just wish we had more of it. And that part of the episode, the photo op part, taking a picture of them is <laughs> it's so weird. Anyway, I have nothing more to say about that. That was season one, episode four of Walking Dead World Beyond, titled The Wrong End of a Telescope. Hope you enjoyed it. And as always, cheers for watching.